Hey guys, it's your boy Jay Kabata back here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys if now is a good time to invest in the stock market. Now, I did this video about a year ago, but I just think that I talk way better now and that I will definitely be able to help you guys out a lot more now. If you guys could please like this video, that'll definitely help me out a lot. It doesn't take that long. It literally just takes one second. I'll even give you that second to do it. You see, that was pretty fast. If you guys could just hit that like button, it will definitely help me out a lot. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you think now is a good time to invest in the stock market? There's been a lot of talks about a stock market crash potentially happening. And make sure to sub to the channel if you haven't. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. That is just crazy. That will be a huge goal if I accomplish that. So if you're not sub, just make sure to sub to the channel. Last thing, if you want to see what stocks I'm buying every single week, make sure to hit that link down below for my Patreon. My Patreon is definitely going to be where I reply to the most people. If you have a question and you want to ask me, that would be the best place to ask me. With that being said, let's get into the video. So I posted this video September 3rd of last year, and as you guys can see, SPY was $351. If you take a look at SPY right now, it is $434. So basically, the S&P 500 has went up $80 since last September. So the question is do I think now is a good time to invest now that SPY is $434 and that it's up $80 since last year? Well, that's what I'm going to answer in this video. So the ETF I'm going to be using for this video is going to be QQQ just because that is my favorite ETF at the moment. So I'm not going to be using SPY for this video. As you can see on August 11th of 2008, right before that big crash happened, QQQ is trading for $48. And now we're just going to go two years later on 10 4 of 2010. And you can see that if you just held, now you're starting to make money. You're barely at 49 but as you can see the chart here, you basically never start to lose money again. I mean, look at this, look at this. It just continues going up. It just continues, continues going up. Now that's super important because that means that if you just held your money in QQQ in 2008, just for two years, you're not buying, you're not selling, you're just holding your money. In two years, you basically made back your money or you started making money and you never looked back. Since 2010, QQQ has never went under what it was in 2008. That is just crazy to know. Now, I know if you bought QQQ in 2008, you were probably scared because it took that big dip, but all you had to do is hold it. If you just held that money and you just held your position in QQQ, then you would be out on top right now. With that chart and with the ETF QQQ, the answer to the question is if you should invest now, the answer is gonna be yes. Please, please, please guys, you need to start investing. Now, if you don't wanna invest because you think the market's gonna go down, you might be right. You might invest today or you might invest this week and next month you might lose 20% of your investment. This is why one of the major things I stress is long-term investing. And the reason I showed you that chart is because if you just have good stocks or you have great ETFs and if you just hold even in a downturn, then you will start to see that over time you will start to make money. Now this is going to bring me up to my next point though because yes you could just hold and yes eventually you can make money if you're invested in these good stocks and in these good ETFs but why not make money sooner and make more money? This is something I preach a lot and this is probably something a lot of you guys know but that's going to be dollar cost averaging. Let's say you have a stock that is worth $20. Now I know you guys probably know the simple concept that for you to start making money that stock needs to go over $20. If it goes to $21 that means you are now making $1. Let's say that same stock goes from $20 to $10. That now means you are losing 50% of your money and that you are now losing $10. Well, instead of just holding, let's say that you purchase another share of that stock at $10. Your average cost is now going to be $15 because you bought one share at $20 and one share at $10. Now, why is this important? So now you have two shares, but for you to start making money, now you need to go over $15, not 20, because your average cost is now $15. But wait, it gets better. So you're not only gonna make $1 when it goes from 15 to 16, you are now gonna make $2 when it goes from 15 to 16, because now you have two shares, not one share. The only reason you were making $1 when it went from 20 to 21 is because you had one share. But now with two shares, you're gonna be making $2 for every single dollar that it goes up. This is the power of dollar cost averaging, and this is why you need to continue to invest in these stocks and invest while they are going down. Last year when I made this video, I thought and many people thought that the S&P 500 was at a ridiculous price. And I mean, just look at it now, $80 over than what it was last year. Do not time the market and dollar cost average these stocks so that you can make more gains in the long term. Now, the next thing I wanna go over with, which is gonna kind of tie in with dollar cost averaging, is gonna to be to be consistent. You need to be consistent with your investments. Everybody's life is different, and I might be able to invest a thousand while someone might be able to invest 500, or someone else might be able to invest 3,000 a check. Someone might even only be able to invest $20 or $10 a check. I challenge you, and I hope you do this, and again, this is not financial advice, 
but to invest consistently. If you only have $20 a week or $20 a check to invest, then just do it. That money's gonna start working for you and you're gonna start to dollar cost average these stocks. The market has taken a hit, but one thing that has helped me make over $35,000 is gonna be that I invest consistently. I used to invest every single two weeks, every single time I got paid. Now I invest every single week because I have a Patreon. I personally think that investing every single week is the best because you are getting in the market every single week. That means you're getting in the market 52 times. If the market is down this week or if the market is up, you're invested no matter what. I like every single week. And if you only have $20 every single pay period, which is two weeks, well then just break it down into $10 a week. One of the most important things I promise is just investing consistently. People think you need so much money to invest in the stock market, but if you would just invest consistently, you would start to see those gains. Of course, like I say in every video, it does depend what stocks you're picking. You can't just be picking penny stocks and I'm saying that you're gonna invest consistently in these penny stocks. Although I am a long-term investor and I don't make as much as a professional day trader, I am happy with the amount of money I have made and although it's not a lot, I definitely think that it's a lot for not being stressed about losing money every single day. I definitely think long-term investing is the way to go. All my subscribers do know that I am a long-term investor and that I don't day trade. And one of the major reasons for that is that I don't actually lose money. Sure, some days I have red. Of course, I'm not always green. I'm not always making money every single day, but I don't actually lose that money because I'm not selling. And like I showed you in the chart, it'll eventually go back up because I have those good stocks that I believe in long-term. With that being said, I definitely think that you need to invest in that this is a great time to start investing. I'm looking at you. If you haven't started investing and you're scared to start investing, then this is your sign to start investing. That's gonna be all for today's video, guys. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're investing consistently or what strategy you use. Do you invest every single week, every two weeks, every month, or do you just invest whenever you have money? Be sure to let me know because I'm honestly very curious to see how consistently you guys invest. Make sure to check out my Patreon link down below. I buy stocks every single week, so if you wanna see how much I'm investing in these stocks, then make sure to check out that link and sign up. Don't forget, let's keep growing that wealth together. Until next time, guys. Oh, dang, I'm too far.